What's up, nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a superpower short. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of ice manipulation. So sit down and get set for cold manipulation. Users of this ability can create, shape, and manipulate cold by reducing the kinetic energy of atoms and thus making things colder, ranging from a subjective feeling of cool to absolute zero. Just like in the case of its inverse power, heat manipulation, this power can be seen as both a superior and inferior form of ice manipulation, as you're not only limited by the element itself, but by the number one facet behind its power, the temperature. You know, in regards to lowering it, as ice and snow require lower temperatures. So, unless you run into anomalies like those that can manipulate elements that don't require cold, such as ice, lava, or something else that doesn't make any sense, you should reign supreme in your comfort zone. And I don't know a single person in the world who doesn't enjoy comfort. Well, except Guts. That guy gets no rest. But you guys aren't hot-blooded like Guts. You guys like to chill. And there's no better way to chill than sitting back, sipping on some shea, and hitting that like and subscribe button. Everyone enjoys a cool front every now and then, so be a pal to others and hit that share button, which should be easy because your fingers shouldn't get stuck on any of the buttons. But cold doesn't just lower temperatures, it can cause objects to cease movement and, in extreme cases, disintegrate because we all know that molecules within matter always move, even when tightly packed together in the form of a brick. You just can't see them. So the atoms are always vibrating, which generates enough heat to keep it from becoming so fragile that it shatters, which cold can accomplish fairly easily. But unlike heat, cold has a defined floor, meaning once temperatures reach extreme lows ranging in the equivalent of negative 270 degrees Celsius or negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit, they don't tend to drop much lower than that. Heat manipulation doesn't have that problem because there's no ceiling as far as heat goes. It'll just increase and increase until the affected molecules just vibrate fast enough to where they end up breaking their bonds and sliding past each other, which when zoomed out would look like the object is melting. And since cold is required for most forms of ice, if you want an explanation of its symbolization or info on its history and lore, check out my video on ice manipulation. You'll also get to hear my self analysis of its importance in both world culture and popular culture. The link is in the description. Well, it should be. Now with the power of cryokinesis comes the natural ability to create, shape, and manipulate cold. The user can attack, defend with, and support themselves or others using cold with cold attacks. The user can create their own source of cold completely separate from outside sources with cold generation. And since users irradiate pure cold, they're known for causing surrounding temperatures to lower and objects to freeze with cold presence. They can use cold to form or create weapons and generate cold with cold weaponry. And higher tier users can create, shape, and control whatever energy is produced from your cold, allowing you cold energy manipulation. Once you cross over into this territory, any inferior user of temperature manipulation who cannot match you on this level will have to stand still and watch as you're able to freeze anything from tangible targets to intangible sources of energy such as light or fire to even concepts such as time or a person's mind by dropping the temperature to absolute zero via absolute zero inducement, which would allow you a form of ultimate freezing. I think those two abilities are the same, but you know what? We'll just give them two different things. Who knows? You guys notice a pattern here though, right? Like I stated earlier, if it sounds like I left out some things, it's because cold is the basis of all thermal abilities that have to do with lowering temperatures, like ice manipulation. So if you want more applications for this power, check out my video on ice manipulation. All you have to do is replace ice with the word cold, and you can pretty much accomplish the same things just with a visual or stylistic difference. And there you have it, cold manipulation in a nutshell. Short, sweet, full of shea, and to the point. This ability, like ice manipulation, can become a menace if used correctly. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather not have to fight in the cold. Like, at all. So if anyone comes a knock into my door with this ability, I'm just gonna send you guys to answer it instead. 